script was developed actually based on actual events, right? This is true, yeah. yes. The script uh, initially stems from the actual theft of the Mona Lisa in uh, the early 20th century, um, which is a story in itself. Yeah. We actually shot that entire Parisian sequence. Do you remember that day that was all shot in one day? Do you remember that? Oh, I remember actually talking about calling it Chasing Mona Lisa. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And, and we actually and, I, and we do. And there, there was another four minutes to that story at one point, too, that we shot, and that was the craziest yeah. day. Um, yeah, something like like 92 camera setups. Yeah, was, that was, was Yeah, I, you were riffing on that. Yeah. That was really fun. Now, Kurt, what was it about the film that actually drew you to it? I mean, was it the script or was it just the story itself? Uh, mm -hmm. It was the script, but I, I liked the flip-flopping of, of what takes place. Mm -hmm. I thought he was very clever in setting up people a certain way, never lying to the audience about who, who you are, never lying to the audience about what you see them do, and then getting you to a point where you have to say, hmm, Jeez, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's it's a it's me. It's a great. It's art. It's art. It's art. Uh, heist, uh, con man, uh, sting, all rolled into one. And I said, this is clever. I I I want to, I want to meet this guy. And so we talked on the phone. And, and I thought, great. And he wanted to put the right people together. I, Gee whiz, what's not what's not to like here? And talking about the right people, you actually have a great cast of A-list actors. I mean, were you surprised who you were able to get? Even Kurt himself. I think. <clears throat> Was I surprised to get the talent that that we got? I think I was more terrified, to tell you the truth, because <laughs> you know there's there's a lot of responsibility and 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 definitely a lot of not only iconic, intelligent, hardworking people coming on board, but um, people who would you know deserved to have me work twice as hard as everyone else, you know, who 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 by right um, uh, needed. Uh, for me to be as you know supportive and on my game as humanly possible, so that's terrifying. It was terrifying, um, <laughs> but uh, that all went away pretty quickly, especially with 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 a guy like Kurt, who's you know um, just so incredibly collaborative, and his filmic mind was um, is astonishing because um, the, he he could keep track of things. Uh, um, I wrote the script, and he could keep track of uh, things every beat with me. Even ahead, he was like, "This is a problem because of this and this and this." Do you recall that you know Crunch did this? You know, you know, uh, you know, t you know. We're going to shoot that three days later. That won't work. It doesn't make sense. What about this? And then I'm like, "Yeah, that's, that's a good it's idea." It's a difficult it's just, movie in that regard. You, you <laughs> have to. You, you can't cheat. You know. Well, yeah. And I think that's the thing with a lot of, not not all, but a lot of contemporary heist movies. And I've been talking about this a little bit today. Is is there's so many cheats? You know, yeah. Yeah. there's little lies to the audience or big lies, or you know. Or my my big thing is is the the computer hacking into the mainframe <laughs> to, you know, reroute all of LAX's traffic, and then we'll make our getaway. Come on. So um, so it's it's more of a throwback, you know, high slash con artist film.